also been mentioning in fact uh, the court has ordered that it should be submitted by january 20th 2023 and of course uh, a gyanwapi like survey expected in this uh, matter as well and of course this is a huge uh, developing story that we are going to be tracking for our viewers for the moment abhishek uh, thank you for joining us with those updates Acting on forced conversions in the state, Uttarakhand Governor Lieutenant General Gurmeet Singh has now approved the anti-conversion amendment bill. The bill was passed by the State Legislative Assembly in November. And the approval by Governor has now cleared the way for strict actions against forced conversions in the state. With the state government intending to implement the law at the earliest, the Governor's nod is a green light. From Rajasthan to Assam, concerns over forced conversions have only been rising. Uttarakhand government is set to pave the way as it cracks down on forced conversions. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Slipping into a very short break here now, viewers getting you updates on the other side of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi calls out the Golami mindset, says the world is recognizing India. And also getting you updates of how the amidst global alarm over COVID, India swings into action mode. RT-PCR mandatory for international passengers, getting you all the updates on the other side. Your favorite service provider, Den, which gets you the best of entertainment, is back with something very special. <laughs> Your three favorite movie channels are bringing in super blockbuster films with features like wider picture and crystal clear sound straight to your home. Wow. Oh, I love that expression. To subscribe to your favorite channels, contact your local cable TV operator today or call 10 toll free number 1 800 419 2020 now. India welcomes those who further India's pride across the globe. Indian diaspora, partners of New India's growth journey in Amritkar. Come and be a part of the 17th Pravasi Bharti Divas from 8th to 10th January 2023 at Indore, Madhya Pradesh, India. For registration, log on to pbdindia.gov.in. Guys, just one second. Choosing a car for my mom. What? Online car shopping? Wow, that's so cool, yeah. Shahrukh ne bataya. Wait up. Booking a car service. From here? Why? You didn't tell me about Shahrukh. He didn't ask him. There's so much more that Shahrukh didn't tell me. It's all on the industry first, My Hyundai app. Open a world of possibility with My Hyundai app. One app, many worlds. With Beto's Diabetes Care Program, you get online doctor consultations, all your prescribed medicines and dietitian support on call. Get your complete diabetes management kit and expert advice with Beto's Diabetes Care Program. Give a missed call on 740-1100. In a bustling Paris neighborhood, a shooting took place targeting the Khushit Cultural Center in which three people were dead while four others were severely injured. The Paris investigators have started their investigation against the 69-year-old suspect who has been arrested for attempted murder. This 69-year-old suspect has been previously released from prison and the reason why he was put into prison was because he had attacked foreign travellers and migrants. Therefore, this is not the first time where he attacked foreign travellers and a possible racist motive has been detected from the suspect's side. After the suspect was arrested, a violent clash broke out between the members of the Khushit community and the police officials.
Slipping into a very short break here now, viewers, getting you updates on the other side of uh, how amidst the global alarm over COVID, India swings into action mode, RT-PCR mandatory for international passengers. Also, no masks, no COVID protocols. Rahul Gandhi marches on. BJP fires Parivar over protocol jai. Eleven thousand placements last year. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Helps beat sensitivity fast. Sensodyne Rapid Relief. अब जियो मार्ट के ग्रैंड फिनाले सेल में मोबाइल्स और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स पर मिलेगा अप टू 80 परसेंट ऑफ तो साल जैसा भी गया हो एंडिंग तो जबरदस्त होगी एक दिन मैं सोते सोते गिर गया और मुझे कुछ नहीं हुआ पता है किसने किया गोस्त ने गोस्त मेरा दोस्त है वो हर बार मुझे बचा लेता है गोस्त को कैसे पता मैं अंधेरे से डरता हूँ गोस्त मेरा दोस्त है मिलोगे हर एक कोई गोस्त नहीं रोनी के पापा ही हैं जो उसे सेफ रखते हैं जैसे हैवल्स लाइफ शील्ड वायर्स जो दिखते नहीं पर घर को सेफ रखते हैं ना आग पकड़े ना जहरीली गैस छोड़े वायर्स दैट डोंट कैच फायर SCI Bank CEO Chanda Kochar and husband arrested in loan fraud case produced in Mumbai court. Gulami ki manchikta ke dabao mein sarkare u disha mein badi nahi. Aur kuch baal ko mein to ulte pair chali. Prime Minister Modi calls out Gulami mindset says the world is recognizing India. Amidst global alarm over COVID, India swings into action mode, RT-PCR mandatory for international passengers. देश की सुरक्षा नहीं, आपको तो देश हित नहीं, परिवार हित पहले है। और ये कांग्रेस ने समय समय पर दिखाया, COVID की शुरुआत पर भी no masks, no COVID protocols, Rahul Gandhi marches on, BJP fires Parivar over protocol Jai. Mega SI crackdown on terror funding in Jammu and Kashmir, Jamate Islami property sealed. Breath Lake ceremony of 16 army personnel who lost their lives in an accident to be held today in West Bengal. Very good afternoon and thank you for tuning in. You're watching the news at half past one. I'm Suesh Assam. We are beginning this edition by telling you how India is now stepping up its fight against COVID. The government has now issued a fresh set of guidelines. Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia has announced that RT-PCR test is mandatory for international arrivals from China, Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong and Thailand. On arrival, if any passenger from these countries is found symptomatic or tests positive for COVID-19, then he or she will be put under quarantine. My colleague Madhurima sent us this report from the Delhi airport this morning. Listen in. 
coming from abroad at international arrival will begin right behind me is the international arrivals from where we are reporting and from today as per the advisory given by the health department the health ministry and the civil aviation ministry as you can see there are multiple international uh, arrivals are happening over here people from abroad right in front of you many foreigners are coming in in our country uh, at the time of new year's to celebrate christmas and new year's and which is why and uh, uh, this particular advisory has been uh, published by the health ministry where they have clearly and categorically stated uh, that uh, all those uh, uh, who are traveling from abroad and from affected area needs to uh, will be tested the random sampling will be decided by uh, the airline staff itself following which if any of those who are found positive uh, will be assisted as per the gu guidelines also the positive samples will be sent for genome sequencing as well uh, to determine the variant if there is any difference in the variants uh, also at the same time children below the age of 12 uh, will not uh, be chosen for the sampling it will be a hassle free procedure and all this is uh, is being done to remain prudent to make sure that prevention is better than cure and if at all if somebody is positive they can be assisted right there and then because the number of cases that are rising in countries like China, USA, Brazil, Japan, it has become imperative for India uh, to straighten up its guard and which is why in a preemptive measure the health ministry has issued a guideline and we are reporting from the IGI international rival where, uh, from where uh, uh, these uh, international uh, uh, people coming from abroad will be coming out. Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia are also putting out details on this mandate. Listen in to what he said. देश में कोरोना महामारी न फैले उसको लिए सतर्कता वर्तना हमने चालू कर दिया है जिस तरह से चीन में कोरोना महामारी की भयानकता हम देख रहे हैं उसको देखते हुए चीन जापान दक्षिण कोरिया हांगकांग बैंकॉक सभी से आने वाली फ्लाइट पर हम एविएशन मिनिस्ट्री के साथ बातचीत करके तुरंत ही एयर सुविधा पोर्टल का इंप्लीमेंटेशन करके सभी पैसेंजर को आरटीपीसीआर कंपलसरी करेंगे उसका ट्रेसिंग करना चालू कर देंगे और इंडिया में आने के बाद किसी को बुखार मालूम पड़े या तो टेस्ट पॉजिटिव पाया जाए तो तुरंत ही हम उसको क्वारंटाइन करने के लिए भी आदेश जारी करने जा रहे हैं ताकि देश को कोविड महामारी के सामने हम बचा सके all right so this is how the government has now stepped up its fight against covid especially when it comes to international airports and uh, checking those very nodes where uh, they are now trying to arrest the spread. Remember three cases of the BF7 Omicron variant, that is uh, BF7, like I said, have been detected in India. And now at international airports, RT-PCR has been made mandatory for all those passengers who are especially coming from countries that have particularly seen a sharp spike in COVID cases. Meanwhile, the BJP is going all out, uh, hitting out against Rahul Gandhi for not following COVID protocols during the Bharat Jora Yatra, where uh, Union Minister Anurag Thakur has said that several COVID cases are being registered in China, but Rahul Gandhi is still not real realizing the criticality of the situation that India might have to face. Also, he said that uh, they tried to misinform people earlier on when they questioned uh, India on its indigenous vaccine and also the center. Earlier also they violated COVID protocol, this time the same is happening and uh, here are all those statements coming in from the BJP on this. समर्थक चल रहे हैं जो देश का नाम निशान मिटाने की सोचते हो वो भारत जोड़ने की बात ही कैसे कर सकते हैं 
जिनकी यात्रा में नफरत का बीज बोने वाले हों वो मोहब्बत की दुकान खोलने की बात ही कैसे कर सकते हैं राहुल जी पूरी दुनिया भर में चीन कोरिया जापान में लाखों केस कोरोना के आ रहे हैं अस्पतालों के बाहर लंबी कतार लगी है शवों का ढेर लगा है लेकिन आपको देश की सुरक्षा नहीं आपको तो देश हित नहीं परिवार हित पहले है और ये कांग्रेस ने समय समय पर दिखाया कोविड की शुरुआत पर भी देश में भय और भ्रम फैलाने का काम कांग्रेस के दिग्गज नेताओं ने किया और देश की गरीब जनता को भी और आम जनमानस को भी कोविड के बारे में दुष्प्रचार किया भारत के वैज्ञानिकों पर भारत की वैक्सीन पर प्रश्न चिन्ह खड़े किए मैं फिर एक बार याद करवाना चाहता हूं ये वही लोग हैं जिन्होंने तब भी कोविड प्रोटोकॉल तोड़े थे जिन्होंने तब भी भय और भ्रम फैलाया था जिसके कारण हजारों नहीं लाखों लोगों की जाने भी गई आज भी जब देश और दुनिया के सामने संकट है तो कांग्रेस जिम्मेदारी को छोड़कर भ्रष्ट लोगों को जोड़ने का परिवार को जोड़ने की यात्रा कर रही है इससे ज़्यादा इसका कोई और और कोई कारण नहीं दिखता है मैं तो यही कहूँगा अपना हित अपने परिवार का हित छोड़ो देश का हित पहले सोचो Did Rahul Gandhi as a responsible person isolate himself? Start wearing a mask. He could be an asymptomatic carrier. Did he get himself tested? Did he do all the protocols that are required? Today he is saying mask is a bahana. Covid is a bahana. First they spread vaccine hesitancy. They spread lies and rumors about vaccines. Bachade ka koon mila hai. Vaccines will be very dangerous for you. And now they are saying masks are also a bahana. It appears that the Congress Party, over the last 50-60 years, when it has been in office, has pursued such a path of corruption that they feel everything can be bought or sold. What kind of language is this? Pyaar ki dukaan can love be purchased or sold in a shop. And instead of making politics or doing politics on everything, perhaps we should also worry about the fact that globally there is concern about growing COVID cases. And in their yatra, they are entitled to go on with the yatra, but perhaps following some protocol would be to the advantage of all. Using masks, etc. If they join also the process, we can all help each other and prevent a pandemic from returning. And Lomas now joining us live on the broadcast. Well, Lomas, this is what the BJP has been harping upon, uh, especially since India has heightened uh, its uh, fight against COVID on how protocols must be followed during the Bharat Jodo Yatra. But clearly, the Congress is far from it, as uh, they have already called this an excuse. of the bjp to stop the bharat jodo yatra and they are absolutely not paying heed to all the advisory that is coming in ab bilkul main aapko bata du ki abhi main nizamuddin ke paas khada hu aur ab se kuch hi der ke baad jo भारत जोड़ो यात्रा है राहुल गांधी की कांग्रेस की वो यहीं पहुंचेगी आपको एक तस्वीर पहले मैं दिखाना चाहता हूं वो तस्वीर भीड़ से यहां पर लगी हुई पूरी तस्वीर है आप देख सकते हैं लोगों की भीड़ काफ़ी यहां पे जुटी हुई है राहुल गांधी के स्वागत के लिए यहां पे जुटी है लेकिन किसी ने भी किसी ने भी मास्क नहीं पहना है क्योंकि आप देख सकते हैं लगातार जो कोरोना के मामले हैं वो लगातार निकल के सामने आ रहे हैं और साथ ही गवर्नमेंट ने भी कोविड को देखते हुए प्रोटोकॉल जारी कर दिया साथ ही और ये कहा है कि सभी लोग मास्क पहने नहीं यहाँ पे किसी तरह से लोगों ने मास्क नहीं पहना है और साथ ही आप देख सकते हैं किसी भी कोविड गाइडलाइन को यहाँ पे फॉलो नहीं किया जा रहा है लेकिन आप जिस तरीके से देख सकते हैं कि चाइना में जो तस्वीरें निकल के सामने आ रही है उसके बाद कहीं ना कहीं जो भारतीय गवर्नमेंट है उन्होंने बड़ा एक फैसला लिया है कि जो कोविड की जितनी गाइडलाइंस है उसको जल्द से जल्द फॉलो करें सभी लेकिन यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं जो कांग्रेस की ये भारत जोड़ो यात्रा है उसमें किसी तरीके से ना तो कोई भी गाइडलाइन को फॉलो किया जा रहा है और ना ही कोई भी डिस्टेंस मेंटेन किया जा रहा है साफ तौर पे क्योंकि कुछ दिन पहले आप देख सकते हैं स्वास्थ्य मंत्री ने खुद राहुल गांधी को एक लेटर लिखा था उसमें कहा था कि आप प्रोटोकॉल फॉलो करें कोविड को लेकर के नहीं तो आप आ, या तो स्थगित कर दे पूरी यात्रा को लेकिन जिस तरीके से ये यात्रा की जा रही है लोगों को तो खासा दिक्कतों का सामना करना पड़ा है दूसरी तरफ जो कोविड की गाइडलाइंस हैं उसको भी यहाँ पे फॉलो करते हुए लोग नहीं दिख रहे हैं जी Absolutely, Lomas, and that is very, very visible in the kind of pictures uh, that are coming in from the national capital. But uh, that has pretty much been the scene across uh, as the Bharat Jodo Yatra continues. And uh, Lomas, fact is that uh, 
if if there is any sort of an escalation then uh, the congress uh, will not take responsibility that is exactly what they have done uh, in the past when they try to undermine uh, the indigenous vaccine of india and now once again we see this kind of uh, uh, behavior being displayed uh, where uh, the congress is just saying that uh, the bjp is trying to run them down and it is nothing more knowing the seriousness of uh, the situation in china and other countries and the sudden spike बिल्कुल आपने सही कहा जिस तरीके से चाइना में जो स्थिति बन रही है कहीं ना कहीं कांग्रेस को वो देखने चाहिए किस तरीके से भारतीय गवर्नमेंट के द्वारा जब चाइना में जो तस्वीरें निकल के आ रही है जो कोविड के मामले निकल के आ रहे हैं उसको लेकर के कोविड गाइडलाइन को फॉलो करने की बात यहाँ पे कही गई है क्योंकि आप देख सकते हैं कि किसी तरीके से जो यात्रा निकाली जाती है उसमें कई लोग शामिल होते हैं और जब लोग शामिल होते हैं तो उसमें ना तो किसी तरह की गाइडलाइन को उनके द्वारा फॉलो की जाती है ना तो मास्क पहना जाता वही तस्वीर यहाँ पर भी है लोगों के द्वारा ना तो यहाँ पर मास्क पहना गया है साथ ही जो कोविड की गाइडलाइन है उसको भी फॉलो करते हुए नहीं दिख रहे तो कहीं ना कहीं चाइना में जो तस्वीर निकल के सामने आ रही है लोगों को सोचना चाहिए और साथ ही जो सीनियर सीनियर नेता होते हैं जो ज, जिस तरीके से राहुल गांधी पूरे यात्रा की अगुवाई कर रही है उनको भी सो, सोचना चाहिए कि जो चीन में स्थिति है कहीं ना कहीं वो यहाँ पे भारत में ना उत्पन्न हो उसको लेकर के जहाँ पे भारतीय गवर्नमेंट के द्वारा कई सारे यहाँ पे प्रयास किए जा रहे हैं तो उनको भी उन प्रयासों में ध्यान रखना चाहिए कि किस तरीके से कोविड की गाइडलाइन को फॉलो करवाएं और साथ ही जिस तरीके से जब नेशनल कैपिटल में ये पूरी यात्रा पहुँची है तो कहीं ना कहीं लोगों को खासा दिक्कतों का सामना करना पड़ा है सुबह से ही ट्रैफिक ट्रैफिक को लेकर के खासा दिक्कतों का सामना करना पड़ा है और साथ ही हमने कई ऐसी तस्वीरें भी देखी जहाँ पर एम्बुलेंस लंबी कतारों में वो जाम में अटकी हुई थी लोगों ने उस जाम से उस एम्बुलेंस को निकाला बाहर नहीं तो जो एम्बुलेंस के अंदर मरीज थे उनको खासा दिक्कतों का सामना करना पड़ा है तो कहीं ना कहीं इस यात्रा को लेकर के राहुल गांधी को सोचना चाहिए बिल्कुल बैक टू स्टूडियो Absolutely, no mas, and let's also not forget how cases have tested positive even of uh, those who are a part of this march who are uh, in that yatra, and uh, we have been seeing that on the ground. Despite that, uh, no attention that the Congress is paying uh, to the very fact that India needs to step up its fight against COVID, and this is not about political differences. This is not about fighting political battles at this point. and settling scores this is really about the country and all parties being united especially after all that india has gone through in the second wave of covid i want to thank you for getting us those details in yet another shocking incident of gang rivalry a video has come to light watch how members of two groups got into a fight in broad daylight Dozen members of a rival group with hockey sticks and rods in their hands attacked gangster Niranjan Meena. Jeeps were thrashed, glass shattered as rival group members vandalized Niranjan's car. History sheet and Niranjan Meena managed to flee amid the attack. BJP has now questioned the Gelhot government. In Dosa in broad daylight an open gang war is going on the video has also come out just a few days ago we have seen a similar such gang war video taking place in jodhpur the home district of the rajasthan chief minister concerns over law and order in the state are only a rise bureau report for republic tv time now for a short commercial break on the other side all the stories we are tracking this uh, of how rt pcr test has been made mandatory for international passengers as india has swung into action mode also former icici bank ceo chanda kochar and her husband who were arrested in the loan fraud case have now been produced in mumbai court a murder will be committed if anyone can name the killer that person wins our game this is truly delightful oh, oh, there is been a murder 
For one person, this is not a game. The killer wouldn't hesitate to kill again. You must be really great at clues. I'm very bad at dumb things. Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. क्या हुआ रोहन क्या सोच रहा है रिया पहली सैलरी मिली है तुम भी कुछ आइडिया दो एक्सपेंसेस को कैसे प्लान किया जाए रोहन एक्सपेंसेस के साथ साथ इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लान करना भी जरूरी है देखो सैलरी का कुछ हिस्सा करके रेगुलर खर्चे के लिए और कुछ मैं अपने लिए भी तो सोच सकता हूँ ना लेकिन इन्वेस्ट कहाँ करूँ सिंपल है एन में एन में रिया अभी तो मैंने कमाना शुरू किया है इतना आगे के लिए अभी से क्यों पैसे जोड़ू वो देखो एक एक करके ईट जोड़ी जाती है तब जाके एक घर तैयार होता है वैसे ही अभी से पैसे जोड़कर हम भी अपना रिटायरमेंट सुखी बना सकते हैं हम्म, बात में तो दम है एनपीएस कम लागत वाली फ्लेक्सिबल लॉन्ग टर्म योजना है जिससे आपकी बचत ग्रो होकर पेंशन का लाभ देती है अच्छा फिर तो मैं अभी अपने एन अकाउंट ओपन करता हूँ जो कल की सोचते हैं वो आज से ही थोड़ा थोड़ा जोड़ते हैं पेंशन है तो टेंशन नहीं एनपीएस में निवेश बाजार जोखिमों के अधीन है Everyone looks at the world today. At Hyundai, we go beyond with experiences that take us forward. Inspired by our today, we design your tomorrow. Some said electric is the future. We said, why stop there? At Hyundai, we are going beyond mobility and you are welcome to join us. And cutting across to breaking news, coming in PDP chief and former Jammu and Kashmir chief minister Mehbooba Mufti has sparked another controversy, saying that there should be relocation of pundits for some time so that they should feel safe. Mehbooba Mufti once again making a controversial statement against Kashmiri pundits at a time when uh, we have been seen seeing the mounting attacks and how Kashmiri pundits are being targeted in the valley. instead of uh, talking about providing safety to kashmiri pandits she is going on to say that they must be relocated so that they feel safe mehbooba mufti once again speaking against kashmiri pandits as they say that uh, they should be moved out of the valley as they're not feel feeling safe in the valley and instead of uh, demanding protection for kashmiri pandits and talking about including kashmiri pandits in the valley she talks about how they should relocate gursimran is joining us live on the broadcast gursimran on expected lines when mehbooba mufti speaks like this uh, instead of talking about how kashmiri pandits should be made to feel safe how those outside of the valley should be brought in how uh, the center must step up ways to provide them safety she is talking about sending them out of the valley let's listen into that statement after which i come back to you on this takleef ko janne ki koshish kare unka uska koi izala kare ki aap usko dictate dete ho ek ultimatum dete ho ki aap join karo nahi to aapki tankhayan band hongi ye galat hai bahut safar kiya hai sab ne safar kiya par kashmiri panditon ne bahut safar kiya hai aur haal hi mein unki kafi halakate bhi hui hai to isko बड़ा गौर से देखने की ज़रूरत है और कुछ अरसे के लिए जो उनकी डिमांड है उसको मान लेना चाहिए ताकि जब उनको इतमान हो जाए कि कश्मीर में हालात सही हो गए हैं वो वापस अपनी ड्यूटी पे जा सकते हैं तो उनको तब ड्यूटी पे जाने के लिए कहना चाहिए अभी इस तरह से मजबूर नहीं किया क्या रिलोकेशन एक सही रहेगा फैसला अगर रिलोकेट किया जाएगा मसला हल होगा उनका देखिए मैं कह रही हूँ कि अभी कोई बीच का रास्ता निकलना चाहिए ताकि वो बेचारे इतने मेहनू से परेशान हैं यहाँ पर हैं बच्चे कहीं खुद कहीं और बहुत ही मुश्किल हालात में दो चार हैं वो इस वक्त तो ऐसे में मुझे लगता है गवर्नर साहब को इसमें नज़रसानी करके कोई ना कोई बीच का रास्ता निकाल कि उनकी तकलीफ गुरसिमरन आई वॉन्ट कम बैक टू यू वी जस्ट हर्ट दैट स्टेटमेंट मैं बूबा मुफ्ती वंस अगेन टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ कश्मीरी पंडित 
should move out of the valley. They should be relocated instead of talking about their safety and uh, how they should instead move in. Uh, she is now taking an alternate line and once again talking about uh, Kashmiri pundits uh, to be sent out. Yes, uh, this time Abu Mufti has tried to be with the side of the Kashmiri Pandas because for the past 230 days, Kashmiri Pandas are saying that they be relocated from outside the Kashmiri Pandas. Yeah, that uh, there won't be any relocation of the Kashmiri Pandas out of the Kashmir Valley. Owing to the situation that there uh, is a security apparatus that has been put in place and their transfers are being done in such a manner that they feel safe in the Kashmir Valley. So there is no point of them being transferred out of the Kashmir Valley. After this, uh, the Kashmiri Pandits have agitated, uh, have taken, intensified their protest that is taking place in Jammu region. But uh, the LG administration is saying that there won't be any relocation and uh, they will be provided with a better security apparatus in the Kashmir Valley. Now the Mabu Mufti has said that for the time being, if, uh, since the situation doesn't improve, uh, the Kashmiri Pandits will be moved out of the Kashmir Valley to Jammu as it is one of their demands. But yes, she, she was silent on the issue that uh, the terrorists are uh, targeting the Kashmiri Pandits. She was mum on the terror attacks, mum on the Pakistani uh, sponsored terrorism that is responsible for another uh, set of threats to the Kashmiri Pandits and the regular threats that the Kashmiri Pandit community is receiving in the Kashmir Valley. So it's uh, quite obvious that Mahbuba is silent on the terrorism, but yes, this time she has tried to take uh, the side of the Kashmiri Pandits by saying that uh, this is their demands and this demand should be considered keeping in view of the threat. the side of Kashmiri Pandits, uh, Gursimla, because uh, then she should also talk about how they should be made to feel safe, how arrangements must be made in the valley such that uh, it is their home and it should continue to be their home See, and not just about politics. Kashmiri Pandits inside the valley. But uh, the whole See, idea of the abrogation of Article 370 was also uh, in the larger way of how Kashmiri Pandits outside of the valley should be made to move in. Then uh, See, uh, this time around, uh, she's trying to make a safe statement, but fact is she's still talking about uh, how Kashmiri Pandits should be sent out. Uh, see, uh, some, uh, Suisha, this is all about uh, the politics that Mahbubha is trying to play. Mahbubha knows it very well that the polity, uh, the elections in Jammu and Kashmir are around the corner. So to try and to garner the votes of the Kashmiri Pandits, she has taken aside. But yes, uh, she don't want to lose that hardcore vote uh, which... Uh, uh, she feels she have in the Kashmir Valley where they, uh, the people, do, those who don't want her to speak against the terrorists and the terrorist sympathizers. That is what she is now up to and uh, she don't want to uh, even speak a single word against uh, the Pakistani terrorists and the terror groups and that's why she chose that it's better to put the blame on the administration by saying that uh, see, we are also supporting that the Kashmiri Pandits be sent back to the Jammu region but it is the LG administration and the union government that is not doing so, that is uh, making them scapegoats in the Kashmir Valley. So, with a single dart, she's trying to hit the two targets and that's why this kind of a statement has come from the Mahbubha Mufti. She wants to keep both the quarters happy, not by blaming the Pakistan, not by blaming the terrorists and also trying to portray an image that she is with the Kashmiri Pandits. All right, uh, Guru Simran, many thanks for getting us uh, those details. With that, it's time for us to sip into a short commercial break. Also, a quick check of the stories we are tracking this afternoon. Former ICICI Bank CEO Chanda Kochar and husband Deepa Kochar were arrested in the loan fraud case uh, where this afternoon they were produced in Mumbai court. Also, Prime Minister Modi calls out uh, the Gulami mindset saying the world is recognizing India. Your favorite service provider, Den, which gets you the best of entertainment, is back with something very special. Your three favorite movie channels are bringing in super blockbuster films with features like wider picture and crystal clear sound straight to your home. Wow. Oh, I love that expression. To subscribe to your favorite channels, contact your local cable TV operator today or call DEN toll-free number 1-800-419-2020 now.
इन्वेस्ट वंस एंड एंजॉय गारंटीड मेच्योरिटी विद लाइफ कवर विद एल आई सी धन वर्षा सिंगल प्रीमियम प्लान फॉर योर फैमिली सिक्योरिटी एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी बॉस राहुल हाउ कम यू हियर बॉस शाहरुख ने बताया charging station for my electric car ah found it really how sharuk ne bataya there's so much more jo sharuk ne nahi bataya it's all on the industry first my hyundai app open a world of possibility with my hyundai app one app many worlds india welcomes those who further india's pride across the globe indian diaspora partners of new india's growth journey in amritkar come and be a part of the 17th pravasi bharatiya divas from 8th to 10th january 2023 at indore madhya pradesh india for registration log on to pbdindia.gov.in Former ICICI Bank CEO Chanda Kochar and husband arrested in loan fraud case produced in Mumbai court. गुलामी की मानसिकता के दबाव में सरकारें उस दिशा में बड़ी नहीं और कुछ बातों में तो उल्टे पैर चली. Prime Minister Modi calls out गुलामी mindset, says the world is recognizing India. Amidst global alarm over COVID, India swings into action mode RT-PCR mandatory for international passengers. आपको तो देश हित नहीं, परिवार हित पहले है। और ये कांग्रेस ने समय समय पर दिखाया। COVID की शुरुआत पर भी no masks, no COVID protocol. Rahul Gandhi marches on BJP fires Parivar over protocol jai Mehbooba Mufti stokes controversy says she will not call for crackdown on terror but now wants relocation of pundits Beatling ceremony of 10 army personnel who lost I beg your pardon 16 army personnel who lost their lives in an accident to be held today in West Bengal Good afternoon and thank you for staying just staying tuned you're watching the news at 2 p.m. I'm Suesha Savant and the top story we're tracking this afternoon of how the government is stepping up its fight against covid surge this in a fresh set of guidelines uh, by union health minister mansukh mandavia where he's announced that rt pcr test is mandatory for international travelers especially from china japan south korea hong kong and thailand on arrival if any passenger from these countries is found symptomatic or test positive for covid-19 then he or she will be put under quarantine immediately madhurama my colleague sending us the support from the delhi international airport let's take a look We are reporting from the international arrivals at the IGI Airport Terminal 3, and from today, the 2% sampling of international uh, people who are coming from abroad at international arrival will begin. Right behind me is the international arrivals from where we are reporting, and from today, as per the advisory given by the Health Department, the Health Ministry, and the Civil Aviation Ministry, as you can see, there are multiple international uh, arrivals happening over here. People. 
from abroad right in front of you. Many foreigners are coming in in our country uh, at the time of New Year's to celebrate Christmas and New Year's and which is why and, uh, this particular advisory has been uh, published by the health ministry where they have clearly and categorically stated that uh, all those uh, who are traveling from abroad and from affected area needs to uh, will be tested. The random sampling will be decided by the airline staff itself following which if any of those who are found positive uh, will be assisted as per the gu guidelines also. The positive samples will be sent for genome sequencing as well uh, to determine the variant if there is any difference in the variants. Uh, also at the same time children below the age of 12 uh, will not uh, be chosen for the sampling. It will be a hassle free procedure and all this is uh, is being done to remain prudent to make sure that prevention is better than cure and if at all if somebody is positive they can be assisted right there and then because the number of cases that are rising in countries like China, USA, Brazil, Japan it has become imperative for India uh, to straighten up its guard and which is why in a preemptive measure the health ministry has issued a guideline and we are reporting from the IGI international rival where uh, from where uh, uh, these uh, international uh, uh, people coming from abroad uh, will be coming out and it is here where uh, the testings will be done the covid rt pcr test will be conducted uh, as per the guidelines of the union health ministry this is madhurima mishra with vijay narudeshwar for republic tv who are coming from abroad at international arrival will begin right behind me is the international arrivals from where we are reporting and from today as per the advisory given by the health department the health ministry and the civil aviation ministry as you can see there are multiple international uh, arrivals are happening over here people from abroad right in front of you many foreigners are coming in in our country uh, at the time of new year's to celebrate christmas and new year's and which is why and uh, this particular advisory has been uh, published by the health ministry where they have clearly and categorically stated that uh, all those uh, who are traveling from abroad and from affected area needs to uh, will be tested the random sampling will be decided by the airline staff itself And uh, also Piyush, my colleague, spoke with former Union Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan, who has also been in the thick of uh, the battle against COVID, especially in the first and the second uh, wave. Let's listen into what he said. You see, there is uh, no cause for any significant worry or any panic or anything. You see, we are simply taking extra precautions. We are uh, uh, rather over-conscious and over-cautious about the whole issue. Uh, with, the, with our experience of last three years of having handled COVID in various waves, uh, and in the light of uh, the emerging high number of cases in neighboring countries and in particular China, which is a neighbor, uh, we are taking uh, uh, extra precautions and uh, we are advising our people. And uh, I, I would like to congratulate the government of India, uh, my own government, where the prime minister himself was leading uh, during the COVID crisis earlier and now anticipating that uh, things could uh, uh, take a turn for the worse. Now uh, he has uh, proactively initiated a number of steps, meetings and instructions and coordination with the state governments. So all this is happening. And the simple message to the people is that there is no harm in uh, taking a bit of precautions. And the precautions are so simple. Uh, with my two years of experience of handling COVID, I can easily say that this was uh, something, this was the tool uh, which actually saved my life in those two years because I was directly interacting with the patients in the ICU and with serious patients also. I was visiting the wards and uh, there was not a single day during COVID 
uh, when I did not visit a hospital. Sir, sir, like you telling us that you are the one who was leading this entire fight from front. Do you think that uh, uh, there is a need of concern because people are talking about this new variant and people are saying that it, it spreads? New, new variant, uh, number one, I must tell you that this had appeared uh, in the last few months also. Now, because of this variant having caused havoc in uh, China, so we are talking a little more about it in India. But uh, as far as India is concerned, we have already activated uh, our uh, labs where, where genome sequencing is going to be done. And uh, uh, our vaccine, uh, which we have given to almost everybody in this country, uh, this vaccine is capable and it has the potential to handle all sorts of variants. This is the experience till now. You have seen that when Omicron, a new variant came, it was, uh, it could not make any significant impact because the whole society was vaccinated. So the only lesson right now would be that those who have not got themselves vaccinated even now, or those who have not got a precaution dose till now, they should get themselves uh, uh, adequately strengthened from the vaccination point of view at this particular moment. And even as the IMA has uh, recommended that masks must be worn both indoors and outdoors as per its latest advisory, how exactly is the situation panning out on the ground in Jammu? We're Simran sending us this report. As the threat of COVID pandemic looms over the country again, there are very few people who are now resorting to the mask precautions. And we are in the Satwari area of Jammu, one of the busiest area where people will be seen roaming without the mask. I request Gaurav to keep showing you the videos that there are lot many people who have uh, not been using mask for a long, even after uh, the regular request from the government that they should uh, adhere to the mask protocol uh, to avoid the further spread of the COVID. The locals can be seen here without the mask, without uh, the COVID appropriate behavior, which clearly shows that uh, no matter how many attempts the government makes, uh, it all will fall flat as the people don't extend the help to them and the people don't abide by the COVID appropriate behavior. The people can be seen running away from the cameras as well. Uh, the way this COVID pandemic has uh, spread uh, in the uh, many countries, including that of China, this is a serious concern that the people are not wearing the masks uh, even in the public places uh, that could lead this pandemic to grow in the coming days. But uh, the government also needs to see that how the implementation of this COVID appropriate behavior needs to take place at a time when the entire uh, Jammu and Kashmir and the entire country uh, is facing the possibility of a breakout of uh, another wave of the COVID-19. Though desperate attempts we saw that uh, how the China tried to hide its data from the international community. But what the international community feels that in the coming days there is a likely possibility of spread of the COVID-19. Also, Union Health Minister Mansuk Mandaviya making uh, an announcement on the same that RT-PCR has been made mandatory for international passengers. Here's what he said. देश में कोरोना महामारी न फैले उसको लिए सतर्कता वर्तना हमने चालू कर दिया है जिस तरह से चीन में कोरोना महामारी की भयानकता हम देख रहे हैं उसको देखते हुए चीन जापान दक्षिण कोरिया हांगकांग बैंकॉक सभी से आने वाली फ्लाइट पर हम एविएशन मिनिस्ट्री के साथ बातचीत करके तुरंत ही एयर सुविधा पोर्टल का इम्प्लीमेंटेशन करके सभी पैसेंजर को आरटीपीसीआर कंपलसरी करेंगे उसका ट्रेसिंग करना चालू कर देंगे और इंडिया में आने के बाद किसी को बुखार मालूम पड़े या तो टेस्ट पॉजिटिव पाया जाए तो तुरंत ही हम उसको क्वारंटाइन करने के लिए भी आदेश जारी करने जा रहे हैं ताकि देश को कोविड महामारी के सामने हम बचा सके 
Moving on, the BJP has hit out full swing against Rahul Gandhi for not following COVID protocols during the Bharat Joro Yatra, where Union Minister Anurag Thakur has said that despite several COVID cases that have been registered in China, Rahul Gandhi is still not realizing the criticality of the situation that India might face due to this Yatra. Also, earlier, how the Congress tried to misinform people and question COVID, the indigenous COVID vaccine. Earlier also how Congress violated COVID protocols, this time they are doing the same. Word coming in from the BJP, listen in. Samarthak chal rahe hain. Jho desh ka namo nishan mitane ki sochte ho, wo bharat jodne ki baat hi kaise kar sakte hain. Jin ki yatra mein nafrat ka beej bone wale ho, wo mohabbat ki dukaan kholne ki baat hi kaise kar sakte hain. Rahul ji, पूरी दुनिया भर में चीन कोरिया जापान में लाखों केस कोरोना के आ रहे हैं अस्पतालों के बाहर लंबी कतार लगी है शवों का ढेर लगा है लेकिन आपको देश की सुरक्षा नहीं आपको तो देश हित नहीं परिवार हित पहले है और ये कांग्रेस ने समय समय पर दिखाया है कोविड की शुरुआत पर भी देश में भय और भ्रम फैलाने का काम कांग्रेस के दिग्गज नेताओं ने किया और देश की गरीब जनता को भी और आम जनमानस को भी कोविड के बारे में दुष्प्रचार किया भारत के वैज्ञानिकों पर भारत की वैक्सीन पर प्रश्न चिन्ह खड़े किए मैं फिर एक बार याद करवाना चाहता हूं ये वही लोग हैं जिन्होंने तब भी कोविड प्रोटोकॉल तोड़े थे जिन्होंने तब भी भय और भ्रम फैलाया था जिसके कारण हजारों नहीं लाखों लोगों की जाने भी गई आज भी जब देश और दुनिया के सामने संकट है तो कांग्रेस जिम्मेदारी को छोड़कर भ्रष्ट लोगों को जोड़ने का परिवार को जोड़ने की ये यात्रा कर रही है इससे ज़्यादा इसका कोई और और कोई कारण नहीं दिखता है मैं तो यही कहूँगा अपना हित अपने परिवार का हित छोड़ो देश का हित पहले सोचो Did Rahul Gandhi as a responsible person isolate himself? Start wearing a mask? He could be an asymptomatic carrier. Did he get himself tested? Did he do all the protocols that are required? Today he is saying mask is a bahana. Covid is a bahana. First they spread vaccine hesitancy. They spread lies and rumors about vaccines. Bachade ka khun mila hai. Vaccines will be very dangerous for you. And now they are saying masks are also a bahana. It appears that the Congress Party over the last 50-60 years when it has been in office has pursued such a path of corruption that they feel everything can be bought or sold. What kind of language is this? Pyaar ki dukaan. Can love be purchased or sold in a shop? And instead of making politics or doing politics on everything, perhaps we should also worry about the fact that globally there is concern about growing COVID cases. And in their yatra, they are entitled to go on with the yatra, but perhaps following some protocol would be to the advantage of all. Using masks, etc. If they join also the process, we can all help each other and prevent a pandemic from returning. State Investigation Agency SIA has sealed several properties belonging to the band Jamate Islami. Properties have been attached in four districts of Budgam, Pulwama, Srinagar, and Kulgam. Gang war that took place in broad daylight in Mehendipur, a Balaji police station area of Dosa district in Rajasthan, where history Shita Niranjan Meena was attacked in the clash between his and the rival group. The ga a gang war erupted uh, over establishing supremacy in the area. BJP spokesperson Shahzad Punawala questioned law and order situation in Rajasthan after a gang war uh, that was witnessed in broad daylight in Dosa. There is no confidence of the people left in the law and order situation and the police of Rajasthan because the Rajasthan government, its only focus is Satta Bachao, not in law and order and Kanun Vyavastha. And because of this, the criminals feel that this is my government and I can do whatever I want. And therefore, such open gang wars take place in broad daylight. This is yet another instance of how Rajasthan's law and order has completely failed. Prime Minister Modi addressed the 75th Amrit Mahotsav of Sri Swami Narayan Gurukul Rajkot Sansthan via video conferencing. 
Prime Minister Modi said that the government back then did not take steps regarding it under colonial mindset. हम शिक्षा के क्षेत्र में भारत के प्राचीन वैभव और हमारा महान गौरव को पुनर्जीवित करें लेकिन गुलामी की मानसिकता के दबाव में सरकारें उस दिशा में बढ़ी नहीं और कुछ बातों में तो उल्टे पैर चली Rahul Gandhi's uh, Bharat Jodo Yatra has entered the national capital. He said that people of RSS BJP have created a bazaar of hatred. वो जो RSS का BJP का नफरत भरा हुआ, डरा हुआ, अहंकार से भरा हुआ हिंदुस्तान, वो सच्चा हिंदुस्तान नहीं है. सच्चा हिंदुस्तान ये है. Traffic has been affected in several parts of Southeast Delhi as the Congress's Bharat Jodo Yatra, led by Rahul Gandhi, entered the city. An advisory was also released earlier, cautioning commuters about the routes that were likely to be affected because of the yatra. BJP spokesperson Shahzad Punawala slammed Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Yatra for not following COVID protocol. He further added that uh, this is Parivar Jodo Yatra, Karab Jodo Yatra. Did Rahul Gandhi, as a responsible person, isolate himself? Start wearing a mask? He could be an asymptomatic carrier. Did he get himself tested? Did he do all the protocols that are required? Today he is saying mask is a bahana. Covid is a bahana. First they spread vaccine hesitancy. They spread lies and rumors about vaccines. Bachade ka koon mila hai. Vaccines will be very dangerous for you. And now they are saying masks are also a bahana. Union Minister Anurag Thakur lambasted Congress leader Rahul Gandhi for not realizing the critical state of COVID. Rahul ji, puri dunia bhar mein Chin, Korea, Japan mein lakho case corona ke aa rahe hain. Aspatalon ke bahar lambi katar lagi hai. Shavon ka dher laga hai. Lekin aapko desh ki suraksha nahi. Aapko to desh hit nahi. परिवार हित पहले है और ये कांग्रेस ने समय समय पर दिखाया कोविड की शुरुआत पर भी देश में भय और भ्रम फैलाने का काम कांग्रेस के दिग्गज नेताओं ने किया बीजेपी क्वेश्चन कांग्रेस पार्टी फॉर फॉलोइंग अ पाथ ऑफ करप्शन एंड नॉट फॉलोइंग कोविड प्रोटोकॉल्स एज भारत जोड़ो यात्रा एंटर्ड इन टू द नेशनल कैपिटल It appears that the Congress Party over the last 50-60 years when it has been in office has pursued such a path of corruption that they feel everything can be bought or sold. What kind of language is this? Pyaar ki dukaan can love be purchased or sold in a shop. And instead of making politics or doing politics on everything, perhaps we should also worry about the fact that globally there is concern about growing COVID cases. And in their yatra, they are entitled to go on with the yatra, but perhaps following some protocol would be to the advantage of all. Using masks, etc. If they join also the process, we can all help each other and prevent a pandemic from returning. Five accused were arrested in Bihar's Arar district after a video of them raising Pakistan Zindabad slogans went viral on social media. The incident occurred where uh, the group apparently celebrated their victory after a badminton match and raised. Anti-national slogans. At least seven were reported dead and several others injured in an explosion at brick kiln in Bihar's Raksol. Around two dozen labourers who were present at the spot were injured in the incident, and about 20 people are still reported to be missing. Nearly 10 ambulances and a fire brigade were rushed to the spot in a bid to rescue the one stuck. Moreover, police and SDRF teams have also been deployed on site and rescue operations are underway.
Condoling the loss of lives, Chief Minister Nitish Kumar directed officials to ensure that all injured get proper treatment. Bureau report for Republic TV. Slipping into a short commercial break, on the other side getting you details, our Prime Minister Modi called out Gulami mindset saying the world is recognizing India. And Mehbooba Mufti has stoked another controversy where she won't call for crackdown on terror but wants the relocation of Kashmiri pundits saying it's for their safety. Eleven thousand placements last year at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. Your favorite service provider, Den, which gets you the best of entertainment, is back with something very special. <laughs> Your three favorite movie channels are bringing in super blockbuster films with features like wider picture and crystal clear sound straight to your home. Wow. Oh, I love that expression. To subscribe to your favorite channels, contact your local cable TV operator today or call 10 toll free number 1 800 419 2020 now. ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टर समिट 2023 के माध्यम से देश विदेश के बड़े निवेशकों को आकर्षित करने के लिए प्रदेश की बदली हुई छवि को रोड शो के जरिए प्रचारित करने के साथ ही प्रदेश सरकार राज्य में उपलब्ध असीम व्यवसायिक अफसरों को प्रोफेशनल्स की मदद से निवेशकों तक पहुंचा रही है उत्तर प्रदेश सरकार रोड शो का आयोजन भी करने जा रही है ताकि उत्तर प्रदेश में उपलब्ध असीम अवसरों का प्रसार करते हुए निवेश को आकर्षित किया जा सके with Beto's Diabetes Care Program, you get online doctor consultations, all your prescribed medicines and dietitian support on call. Get your complete diabetes management kit and expert advice with Beto's Diabetes Care Program. Give a missed call on 740-1100. Volkswagen Tycoon, India's safest SUVW. Volkswagen. What's with all these attacks happening in Pakistan every single day? Multiple attacks. What's happening in China? China is getting a hammering and a battering of a lifetime. What did China do wrong? After all, so many Indians were saying that, you know, China is such a perfect society. They are vaccinating 14 million people in a day. Let that sink in. But I think India did a far, far better job. We suffered. Of course, many Indians died. But today, India is a stronger nation in terms of immunity. China easing restrictions, a COVID emergency situation has now risen in the country. Reports suggest nearly 37 million people have been affected with COVID-19. More than half of the population has been affected in the capital city of Beijing. Watch how streets of Beijing have been completely deserted. Courier goods have piled up and no delivery boys are reporting to duty. Streets, subways, airport and shopping malls all have been deserted in China. Beijing's swift dismantling of COVID restrictions has fallen flat and the world is now sounding an alarm over the surge. Bureau report for Republic TV. Time now for a short commercial break, but the big stories we are tracking. Former ICICI Bank CEO Chanda Kochar and husband Deepa Kochar have been arrested in loan fraud case. They were produced in Mumbai court. Also, 
Mehbooba Mufti has talked to controversy, won't take a call, won't call out for crackdown on terror, but now wants relocation of pundits. Ladies and gentlemen, you expected the puzzle, but for a long person, this is not a game. Explain it to us, detective. Always. Everyone is in danger. All right, when's the murder mystery start? क्या हुआ रोहन क्या सोच रहा है रिया पहली सैलरी मिली है तुम भी कुछ आइडिया दो एक्सपेंसेस को कैसे प्लान किया जाए रोहन एक्सपेंसेस के साथ साथ इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लान करना भी जरूरी है देखो सैलरी का कुछ हिस्सा घर के रेगुलर खर्चे के लिए और कुछ मैं अपने लिए भी तो सोच सकता हूँ ना लेकिन इन्वेस्ट कहाँ करूँ सिंपल है एन में एन में रिया अभी तो मैंने कमाना शुरू किया है इतना आगे के लिए अभी से क्यों पैसे जोड़ू वो देखो एक एक करके ईट जोड़ी जाती है तब जाके एक घर तैयार होता है वैसे ही अभी से पैसे जोड़कर हम भी अपना रिटायरमेंट सुखी बना सकते हैं हम्म, बात में तो दम है एनपीएस कम लागत वाली फ्लेक्सिबल लॉन्ग टर्म योजना है जिससे आपकी बचत ग्रो होकर पेंशन का लाभ देती है अच्छा फिर तो मैं अभी अपने एन अकाउंट ओपन करता हूँ जो कल की सोचते हैं वो आज से ही थोड़ा थोड़ा जोड़ते हैं पेंशन है तो टेंशन नहीं एन में निवेश बाजार जोखिमों के अधीन है आपके किचन और बाथरूम को चाहिए एम वाई के लेटी क्रीट एस पी हंड्रेड टाइल ज्वाइंट का ऑलराउंडर एम वाई के लेटी क्रीट एस पी हंड्रेड जोड़ हो तो ऐसा एवरी वन लुक्स एट दर्ल्ड टूडे वी गो बी ऑन विद एक्सपीरियंस फॉरवर्ड इंस्पायर बाई आवर टूडे We design your tomorrow. Some said electric is the future. We said, why stop there? At Hyundai, we are going beyond mobility, and you are welcome to join us. It's half past two viewers, and there are the headlines. Former ICICI Bank CEO Chanda Kochar and husband arrested in loan fraud case produced in the Mumbai court. गुलामी की मानसिकता के दबाव में सरकारें उस दिशा में बड़ी नहीं और कुछ बातों में तो उल्टे पैर चली. Prime Minister Narendra Modi calls out the gulami mindset says the world is recognizing India. Amidst the global alarm over COVID-19 India swings into action mode RT-PCR mandatory for international passengers. Desh ki suraksha nahi आपको तो देश हित नहीं परिवार हित पहले है और ये कांग्रेस ने समय समय पर दिखाया कोविड की शुरुआत पर भी नो मास्क नो कोविड प्रोटोकॉल्स राहुल गांधी मार्च ऑन बीजेपी फायर्स परिवार ओवर प्रोटोकॉल जाई सफर किया पर कश्मीरी पंडितों ने बहुत सफर किया है और हाल ही में उनकी काफी हलाकतें भी हुई हैं तो इसको बड़ा गौर से देखने की जरूरत है और कुछ अरसे के लिए जो उनकी डिमांड है उसको मान लेना चाहिए
Mehbooba Mufti stokes controversy. She won't call for crackdown on terror, but now wants relocation for pundits. And it is the wreath-laying ceremony for 16 army personnel who lost their lives in an accident to be held today in West Bengal. Thank you for tuning in to Republic TV viewers. I'm Priyanka Sharma. We are live and breaking and straight away getting you the biggest story that we are tracking for you with respect to Chanda Kocher and her husband Deepak Kocher that had been arrested, who had in fact been arrested by the Central Bureau of Investigation just yesterday. And of course, now they have also been produced before the special CBI court in Mumbai, where in fact the CBI had uh, also asked for a three-day remand from the court and of course we had seen how the developments were also taking place as far as the arguments inside of the courtroom are also concerned and we had seen that the advocate Desai arguing for the coaches in fact had also questioned as to why was it necessary to arrest Chanda and Deepak Kocher yesterday by the CBI and that uh, there was a earlier investigation into this entire matter as well and that the matter in fact uh, the FIR in fact had also been registered earlier and so why was the need for arrest of Chanda Kocher and Deepak Kocher also arising yesterday when we had seen the CBI taking the duo into custody and now of course we see the arguments being put forth by the lawyers of Chanda and Deepak Kocher before the courtroom where in fact they are questioning this entire arrest of Chanda Kocher and Deepak Kocher as well. In fact, uh, I believe uh, Sambhav is also joining us uh, live on this uh, big story. Sambhav, tell us more about the investigation that was being conducted uh, by the CBI. And of course, we had earlier also seen multiple agencies looking into this entire matter. And now we also see Sambhav, the kind of questions that have been uh, arisen uh, before the court of uh, law, where the lawyers, in fact, have questioned the entire arrest of Chanda Kocher, the entire arrest of Deepak Kocher. What really are you picking up with respect to these legal arguments that are going on in the Mumbai courtroom? So generally, in such cases, uh, what we see in the court that uh, uh, CBI or the Enforcement Directorate uh, gets remand very easily. But here the case is different. The, here the hearing is uh, like uh, more than one hour. Uh, the hearing is, is still underway in uh, a special CBI court of Mumbai. And uh, serious arguments are being put by both the parties, both CBI as well as the lawyer for uh, Chanda Kocha. Both are putting serious arguments. On one hand, when CBI is seeking for three-day custody for further interrogation into the matter, for the probe into the matter, the advocate Desai, on the other hand, for Chanda Kocha, is saying that we, they are respectable uh, bankers and they should be respected, even government respect them. So such kind of arguments uh, we are getting from inside the courtroom that such kind of arguments are being made and on which ground the arrest is being made when both part, both Chanda Kocher and Deepak Kocher are very much uh, willing to uh, I mean, cooperate in the probe because the case is not new. The case uh, deals goes back to uh, 2009, 10, 11, 12, wherein uh, uh, it is alleged that uh, some uh, three uh, loan to the twin of uh, 3,000 crore is given by the ICICI bank when uh, Chanda Kocha was the CEO and the managing director of the bank to uh, Videocon. So this is the whole scam where earlier enforcement directorate had also probed into the matter. Now the CBI has arrested yesterday uh, uh, from Delhi and now produced both of them in the Mumbai court and serious arguments are still going on more than one hour of hearing is still I mean uh, it's a wait and watch kind of situation what the court will have to say in all this whether uh, CBI is gonna get the remand of both uh, um, uh, coaches or uh, this uh, uh, or they or or they they get a kind of bail or something so uh, so it's wait and watch here uh, and we need to see what the court says in this 
Well, absolutely Sambhav, uh, but uh, of course uh, we have also been seeing uh, how the legal arguments have been presented before the court and of course uh, the coacher duo questioning the entire arrest and uh, also questioning the political vendetta in this entire matter. They have stated this uh, in the courtroom as well. Of course, we will have to wait and watch as far as uh, how this entire hearing will culminate. Of course, now, viewers, uh, these are uh, the live images of the wreath-laying ceremony of the 16 army personnel who lost their lives in the accident. And, of course, the wreath-laying ceremony, as we had been uh, tracking for you all day, that was uh, all set to take place in West Bengal today. And, of course, uh, those are the live images of the wreath-laying ceremony as well that we are putting out on your screens. And, uh, of course, uh, viewers, we had been tracking for you as far as uh, the wreath-laying ceremony is concerned of uh, the soldiers that had lost their lives in the road accident that had taken place. And, of course, uh, we see now that the wreath-laying ceremony is currently underway. It was scheduled to take place uh, between 12.30 to 2 p.m. today. And, of course, uh, we see this uh, happening now with respect to our brave soldiers that lost their lives in a road accident in Sikkim. And, of course, uh, now we see that uh, the wreath-laying uh, ceremony is ca being carried out in West Bengal. Of course, and of course, uh, viewers, we had uh, seen how that tragic accident had taken place uh, in Sikkim, where 16 of our army personnel had lost their lives. And uh, of course, now we are looking at the wreath laying ceremony of our brave martyrs who had, in fact, uh, lost their lives in Sikkim. And now in West Bengal, the wreath laying ceremony is underway. An unshakable belief, a 360 degree holistic model of development, and a strong team of 300 people is transforming millions of lives in rural Maharashtra.
build hope, we build aspiration, we allow them, we give them the tools with which to dream. Catch the second episode of Swadesh Foundation Swase Bane Des at these times only on Republic TV. For how long will you continue being tensed about the future? Pension can free you from future's tension. With LIC's new Pension Plus, make your own pension plan because this plan creates market-linked wealth for your future. Moreover, this plan comes with guaranteed additions and also offers various options for receiving pension so that you grow young and tension-free. LIC, har pal aapke saath. Jan 2022 se ab tak रोहन छह बार डंप हुआ है बट रोहन वो तो लहरा रहा है क्योंकि जियो मार्ट के ग्रैंड फिनाले सेल में शॉपिंग पर मिलेगा अप टू एटी परसेंट ऑफ तो साल जैसा भी गया एंडिंग तो जबरदस्त होगी India welcomes those who further India's pride across the globe. Indian diaspora, partners of New India's growth journey in Amritkar. Come and be a part of the 17th Pravasi Bharti Divas from 8th to 10th January 2023 at Indore, Madhya Pradesh, India. For registration, log on to pbdindia.gov.in. With Beto's Diabetes Care Program, you get online doctor consultations, all your prescribed medicines and dietitian support on call. Get your complete diabetes management kit and expert advice with Beto's Diabetes Care Program. Give a missed call on 740-1100. Welcome back, viewers. Uh, one of the most concerning uh, situations are that of the COVID-19, where we see now the government taking preemptive action and the guidelines, in fact, that have also been issued as far as the RT-PCR test is concerned. The mandatory RT-PCR test for people that are returning from certain countries, including China, Hong Kong, South Korea, uh, and various other countries as well. And of course, now we are seeing that uh, other than that, there were several meetings that had also been chaired by the health ministry to look at the oxygen supply, to look at the bed availability, to God forbid that there is another such uh, situation like that of the second and the third wave uh, that we had seen of COVID-19. The government being extra prepared on this uh, matter as well. In fact, uh, our correspondents have been on the ground getting you all the reports as far as the preparedness of the government is concerned for COVID-19. Let's take a look. We are reporting from the international arrivals at the IGI Airport Terminal 3 and from today the 2% sampling of international uh, uh, people who are coming from abroad uh, at international arrival uh, will begin right behind me is the international arrivals from where we are reporting and from today as per the advisory given by the health department, uh, the health ministry and the civil aviation ministry as you can see there are multiple international uh, arrivals happening over here. People from abroad right in front of you. Many foreigners are coming in in our country uh, at the time of New Year's to celebrate Christmas and New Year's and which is why and uh, this particular advisory has been uh, published by the health ministry where they have clearly and categorically stated that uh, all those uh, who are traveling from abroad and from affected area needs to uh, will be tested. The random sampling will be decided by uh, the airline staff itself following which if any of those who are found positive uh, will be assisted as per the gu guidelines also. The positive samples will be sent for genome sequencing as well uh, to determine the variant if there is any difference in the variants. Uh, uh, also at the same time children below the age of 12 uh, will not uh, be chosen for the sampling. It will be a hassle-free procedure and all this is, uh, is being 
being done to remain prudent, to make sure that prevention is better than cure. And if at all, if somebody is positive, they can be assisted right there and then because the number of cases that are rising in countries like China, USA, Brazil, Japan, it has become imperative for India uh, to straighten up its guard and which is why in a preemptive measure the health ministry has issued a guideline and we are reporting from the IGI international rival where uh, from where uh, uh, these uh, international uh, uh, people coming from abroad uh, will be coming out and it is here where uh, the testings will be done the covid rt pcr test will be conducted uh, as per the guidelines of the union health ministry this is madhurima mishra with vijay narudeshwar for republic tv We are at the Chennai International Airport arrival and here the precautionary measures due to the current COVID threat is uh, taking place. As you can see, the Tamil Nadu Health Department has uh, uh, put out a tent in front of the arrival and uh, two-person random samples are being taken out uh, from every single flight that lands in Chennai. As you can see, a random person from the flight is being uh, called upon this area and the tests are happening and we have very properly set up uh, a COVID testing point here with uh, sufficient doctors and nurses to make sure that these samples are being taken and it is being sent for uh, testing. And also all the RT-PCRs are being tested for every single passenger who is flying from uh, countries such as Hong Kong, China, Japan, South Korea and uh, some European countries like France, etc. Uh, therefore, there is a proper health desk, uh, help desk here as well, which is maintaining the health minister of Tamil Nadu, Ma Subramaniam, uh, just visited this uh, uh, COVID checking point and he inspected if all the precautionary measures are put in place because it is starting from today the Tamil Nadu government is trying to follow all the instructions given by the Union Health Secretary in a notification sent to the Health Ministry. Therefore, uh, the, uh, all four international airports in Tamil Nadu are under tight security now uh, so that uh, this COVID threat can be fought. This is Vashni Ramu along with camera person Dilip from Chennai for Republic TV. Now, viewers, as we had been tracking for you, the Union Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia had been chairing various meetings in order to prepare for the COVID-19 upsurge that had been uh, making rounds as well. And now, of course, the mandatory RT-PCR is one of the rules. And the other, of course, there was a meeting to check the oxygen availability as well. as, uh, as well. Uh, so let's listen in to what Mansuk Mandavia had to say about the COVID-19 upsurge and the situation that uh, India is tackling and whether or not the government is ready to tackle the situation. देश में कोरोना महामारी न फैले उसको लिए सतर्कता वर्तना हमने चालू कर दिया है जिस तरह से चीन में कोरोना महामारी की भयानकता हम देख रहे हैं उसको देखते हुए चीन जापान दक्षिण कोरिया हांगकांग बैंकॉक सभी से आने वाली फ्लाइट पर हम एविएशन मिनिस्ट्री के साथ बातचीत करके तुरंत ही एयर सुविधा पोर्टल का इम्प्लीमेंटेशन करके सभी पैसेंजर को आरटीपीसीआर कंपलसरी करेंगे उसका ट्रेसिंग करना चालू कर देंगे और इंडिया में आने के बाद किसी को बुखार मालूम पड़े या तो टेस्ट पॉजिटिव पाया जाए तो तुरंत ही हम उसको क्वारंटाइन करने के लिए भी आदेश जारी करने जा रहे हैं ताकि देश को कोविड महामारी के सामने हम बचा सके And here's some news and brief viewers. State investigating agency has sealed several properties belonging to the band Jamate Islami. Properties, in fact, have been attached in four districts of Badgam, Pulwama, Srinagar, and Kulgam. One more gang war took place in broad daylight in Mehendipura Balaji police station area of Dosa district in Rajasthan. History sheeter Niranjan Meena was attacked in the clash between his and rival group. The gang war erupted over establishing supremacy in the area. BJP spokesperson Shahzad Poonawala has questioned the law and order situation in Rajasthan after gang war took place in Dosa district. 